grandfather wasn't particularly affectionate. Still, my mom likes to tell the story of him walking in, asking her to reach into his coat pocket. Maybe it's the contrast that sharpens that memory for her. The contrast between his rough demeanor and the soft fur of the puppy tucked inside. Many sagas are stories told in exactly 50 words. Not 49, not 51, 50. That was one of mine titled Fathers and Daughters. Some of them are sweet, some of them are sad, some of them are lighthearted. But I write one almost every single day, and I've done so for about the last year and a half. You see, I'm a business manager working in an office of creatives. Not only are these individuals creative, they are creators, makers, if you will. Some of them make with pixels, some with cameras, some with clay. And being around these individuals every day, I started to realize that my life revolved around consumption and management. But you see, as humans, we all have an innate desire to create. Sometimes we want to create babies, sometimes cave paintings. It may be sonnets or satellites, calzones or cars driven by drones. But our souls yearn to create something. Unfortunately, I'd allowed our modern consumer culture of Facebook, Netflix, and spectator sports to keep me from creating. I'd become numbed to the very desire that made me feel alive. But what could I create? I can barely clap in time, much less compose music. My paintings give special meaning to the term lowbrow. Whenever I try to cook crockpot chili, it has the taste and consistency of spackle. The mere thought of writing a book makes me more nauseous than my chili. And the only thing I can make with my hands is a mess. In essence, I'm not a creative. Fortunately, one morning, a coworker had everyone in her office download a program he developed that counted down the words you write until you reach 50. He gave us 10 minutes to write a story, and then we read them aloud. When it came time to read mine, I got a good reaction and some chuckles, and something clicked. I thought, this is something I could make. So I set a goal to write a mini saga every day. It was just something small to give me a creative outlet. But after months of creating something seemingly insignificant every day, I started to notice some changes in myself, and I started to learn some lessons about creation. The first lesson I learned is that creation makes me more observant. By forcing myself to write every day, I started to see stories everywhere. And when you're always searching for a story, you see a flame where others may see the mundane. That same flame is carried over into my career as well. Since writing my first mini saga, I've had the most professionally creative time of my life. I've helped start three businesses, and I'm in the process of helping develop a video game. Now, Unfortunately for me, not all of these businesses have been successful, but they were created nonetheless. So, so how did these ventures come about? Well, I'm now more observant to the problems and opportunities around me, and then it's a matter of figuring out their solutions. It's sort of like finding a story and then figuring out how to write it. The second lesson I learned is that creation makes me more disciplined. Many people incorrectly believe that creativity is ephemeral in nature, when in actuality it involves a lot of willpower. Some of my favorite pieces came on days when I didn't feel inspired or I felt too tired, but I wrote anyway. That same discipline is carried over into how I relate to others. Ever since I was young, my mom always said, Dad, you just love to argue, don't you? I'd always reply, Mom, I don't love to argue. I love to debate, thereby proving her point. Well, this year I decided that maybe my mom, my mom is right and maybe I do need to change. So I set a goal to not argue with friends and family. Now, I have not been perfect, but... I have improved drastically, and sometimes the greatest discipline is overcoming your own weak nature. Third lesson I learned is that creation makes me more efficient. There is beauty in constraints. When I write a mini saga, every word counts. I'm forced to be efficient with my words. That same efficiency is carried over into how I live. I've started abiding by the one in, one out rule. For every piece of luggage I buy, I get rid of a piece of luggage. For everything I buy, I get rid of another. And just as I edited words out of my mini sagas, I've now edited things out of my life. And I can assure you my life is now much more efficient and less cluttered. In summary, before writing mini sagas, I consumed and managed. But by taking bite-sized steps, I became a creator. So what's your mini saga? What will you create every day? Once you find it, you may learn more about yourself than what you imagine. And it may only take 50 words. Thank you.